important business how to distribute these books all over the world so when I got Srila Prabhupada's books by a devotee in the train station you know um, I went started going to the temple after that allows one also to distribute a lot of sets which is the ultimate nectar I get this gift from you I'm very happy then uh, the very nice books. Uh, what difference is there between these books and other books that, that contain yoga and other meditation and religious aspects? I'm going to start. You're going to start Sankatan. Yeah. Well, have a good day. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you very much. Hari Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. I came to bring something for the manager. So he's in the meeting right now. But I have an appointment. He knows I'm coming. Tell him Prema is there. You have an appointment with him? Yes. Tell him Prema is there. We phoned. All right, then. I haven't got time. I'm far too busy. Yeah, I can come back another time, but at least I can uh, show you uh, what we have. We have the great classics of India, which we um, which we show to everyone. This is one of the most spoken by sage, but he spoke to a king. You see, yeah? this is so. It was he he um, he had to uh, you know adjust himself a little bit. It's not too philosophical. It's a story for me. In the West, they would sometimes consider it mythology. You know like, like uh, stories, but actually it's real history. Yeah, so so we, we visit all the companies here, and this, I can show you what we're doing. We have, uh, we have monasteries everywhere, and uh, also in India we have a headquarters. You see, Mayapur. You know, I'm working so hard, sometimes 15 hours a day. My wife just left me, my son is taking dr drugs, so I think there must be something else. So in this way, the manager signed the check for a Dutch set of Srila Prabhupada's books. And now, we're heading towards Austria, where one of Srila Prabhupada's oldest active book distributors is going to tell us about his realizations after 12 years of Sankatan. Do Sankatan, you know, come on to Sankatan, do big and then leave. Mm -hmm. So what's your what's your analysis on this, your point of view? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a fact that so many Prabhupada disciples mainly left book distribution and went to do different other things, more or less Krishna conscious. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, the biggest problem is that uh, devotees didn't do a lifetime commitment to sell Prabhupada's books. Making a lifetime commitment to sell Prabhupada's books uh, is not an easy thing because uh, there may be so many difficulties. It's just like, <laughs> in one sense, getting married. If you get married, then there's no divorce. According to the Vedic culture, there's no divorce. So uh, the same thing is with uh, book distribution. If you take up a lifelong mission of book distribution, it's just like getting married to book distribution and uh, you cannot divorce. So. Through thick and thin, there's always thick and there's sometimes thin also. Uh, difficult times, you still have to stick to it, provided that you are determined to make a lifelong dedication. So I'm, I'm, uh, unfortunately, I must say that not many devotees have made a lifetime dedication to selling Prabhupada's books. And uh, I would encourage anyone 
disciple of Prabhupada or disciple of a disciple of Prabhupada to develop this lifetime dedication, to develop this lifetime dedication to sell these books, to give these books to the conditioned souls, to make them happy. Here we see Harry Namananda, Switzerland's top book distributor in action. Usually when he approaches someone, he first gives them two or three books, Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And then if they're more interested, he presents four or five books. And then it's just one step to presenting the set. This time, 12 cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam to a truck driver who was making a delivery. At the Northern European Sankatan meeting in Radhadesh, he explains that Krishna has arranged for us to have so many different books to distribute. So therefore, we should not try to give people just one book at a time, but we should endeavor to give each person as many different books as possible. They took always only seven books, seven Mahabhik books. They were going only with these ma seven Maha big books, they were going to, to each person. That's for you. Give this today out. It is a good time today to all the nice persons for Christmas. Very nice books about the Indian culture and philosophy. And all the people that took it, they never took, they never gave out less than seven. The seven, seven was like one book, you know. And the next step was the set. When the people gave a lot of donations, big donations, then they took the set. In, you know. Actually, they don't touch. I think they don't touch the uh, floor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they had a brilliant face and a smile like the sun. And so, without oh, they did big. <laughs> but actually, without anyway, without. They don't be so big like Hari Namananda. And so we ask, uh, how many you did, Ananda? Uh, and then Ananda said, I did uh, maybe 470 today. 470 books, huh? 420. 420. 420 books. One day. In one day. <laughs> <laughs> then we ask Purushottama, how uh, <clears throat> And then Ar Arya did 300 something, 360, like this. That was naturally a big surprise, you know, 420 books. Ne never in the history we heard such a big result. So we are completely amazed. And then uh, Ananda said, yeah, you want to hear how much, you should ask Purushottama how much he did. Ah, he did more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How much he did? And then uh, he said he did 500. <laughs> <laughs> On the road again, this time to Norway, where Tilakanath Prabhu, the temple president there, will demonstrate the art of distributing books in this mystical country. Great pleasure to have you all here with us today in Norway. And in the background we can see Olesen, it's a town situated on the west coast of Norway. We are going to distribute books here in Olesen today. As you can see from the pictures we are showing you here, uh, it's a lot of mountains, a lot of fjords, but unfortunately there are not so many people. So sometimes we have to look for the people to find someone to give the books to. So we hope you will have a pleasant, uh, a pleasant, uh, and uh, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Reappearing, Tilakanath has managed to find one of these rare Norwegians who was hiding in his car at the time. 
Having discovered him, Tilakanath presents one of Srila Prabhupada's books in the Norwegian language. Our Norwegian friend hesitates at this unfamiliar intrusion into his environment, but eventually he decides to investigate further as the concepts of karma and reincarnation are introduced to his deeply Norwegian mind. And finally, he surrenders some of his rare Norwegian Lakshmi, showing that the rare Norwegian people have good hearts. And now we're heading south again to Germany, where we'll meet one of the new initiating spiritual masters, Sachinandan Prabhu, who will tell us how his Nam Hatta members also take part in the distribution of Srila Prabhupada's books. Well, after doing book distribution for almost five years and then producing Srila Prabhupada's books into the German language, the books came to me. Uh, in another way, I contacted those who had already read Srila Prabhupada's books or who had met uh, the devotees. And I taught them uh, how to chant the holy name and then by and by form sanghas or groups where they would come together. Then, after some time, it was only a natural question, what should they do for devotional service? And one of the most direct and most inspiring form of engaging them was book distribution. Und manchmal läuft man wirklich ein, zwei Stunden durch die Einkaufsstraßen und nichts passiert. Man wird No, wir wollen kein Buch. Nein, Here, wir wollen kein Buch. Heidi Ach, says that she finds it very difficult to distribute these books in Hamburg on a Saturday afternoon. Everyone says, no books. Ah, Hare Krishna. But then one person takes a book and soon we are distributing book after book and everything is so ecstatic. And Dietrich tells us how he is distributing Bhagavad Gita to Russian tourists in buses and ships visiting Germany. Although they are suspicious sometimes, if one of them takes a book, they all take very enthusiastically. And here he shows the Russian Bhagavad Gita. Michael, Heidi's husband, tells us how he is becoming more and more ecstatic as he engages in book distribution. And now we go to the Nam Hatties in Rotterdam in Holland. This is Bhakta George, Bhakti Lucette and Bhakti Vajero, and they are members of the Nam Hatta group here in Rotterdam. George, what brought you in, co in contact with Krishna Consciousness? Uh, so I went uh, to a French uh, home and uh, I asked him if he had some uh, spiritual literature and uh, he gave me the uh, a pocket book from Srila Prabhupada named uh, uh, Self-Realization. Eh? So I read that book and I thought, I thought that uh, this is uh, what I always wanted to know, you know, the, that is real knowledge, yes, who I am, where, what I'm doing here. So all those answers uh, were in that uh, pocketbook. So I went to the temple and I bought uh, a set of books. Meanwhile, back in Belgium's Radadesh. So, Prabhupada told me that in the BBT they have so many languages now to translate books. And so, uh, now the books are here, the lager are full with Prabhupada's books. The storehouses are full with love of Godhead. Prabhupada said many times that our ladies could preach equally along with our men. So in these next few scenes we'll see Heidelberg Sankatan Madhijis demonstrate the power of this principle. I have been the 
Peter Popper's book for about 11 years. And you still enjoy it? Yes, I. It is a very blissful activity to give Chile Prabhupada's mercy to his books. I like it very much. And what are your realizations on Sankita? I can see it is the only way for the conditioned souls to get free from these material uh, miseries when they get Chile Prabhupada's book. And I can feel I, um, I can um, satisfy my spiritual master very much when I am engaging in this kind of service. And therefore, I like it very much. How will we help all these conditioned souls become happy? Heidelberg's temple president reveals his plan. More or less, the whole time is maintained by the book distribution. So therefore, it's necessary that everyone who is able, who is able to do Sangita, that he's doing a book distribution. So at least uh, those who are not traveling, so they go at least uh, once a week, they go out and distribute books. And how about you yourself, as temple president? Do you find it necessary to go out on Sankirtan sometimes? Oh yes, definitely. I do that also. And from this policy, um, you've, which you've been practicing for a year now, um, what have you learned? What is your experience? Oh, first of all, so it's good for my own Krishna consciousness, because like I say, the whole temple is maintained by the book distributors, so it's needed that they get always inspired. So if I go also out, so it's for them, it's a good example. I can also inspire them to do book distribution. And the second thing is that um, the atmosphere in the temple is very nice under the devotees, because there is no distinction between uh, that are the Sangitan devotees, that are the temple devotees. No, everyone is doing Sangitan once a week or the whole week. So everyone is feeling he's a preacher, he's a Sangitan devotee. So it's a very nice atmosphere in the temple. <laughs> And in Zurich, the president explains the key to spreading Krishna consciousness in Switzerland. So, of course, to maintain the temples with book distribution alone, we need to get reasonable price for the books. Prabhupada's formula was double the BBT price, so you pay back the BBT for the book, and then the remaining Lakshmi is used to maintain the temple and support other kinds of preaching programs. So the main factor here is actually the consciousness of the devotees. The devotees really have strong faith in the books. They experience uh, a great change in their own life. They have this higher taste. And finally, we're going back to Germany to see the latest developments on the Sankatan front. Well, I think one of the most amazing stories for our Sankatan devotees is uh, what is going on in the rock and roll or pop scene. Just uh, one week before Christmas Marathon, Nina Hagen phoned me and said, Oh, Sashi Nandan, I need some spiritual advice. So I went to her and we gave her a lot of prasadam, preached to her, and we also had a suitcase of uh, books, Bhagavad Gita's. So she was not really sure if she would be able to distribute them, but then she was so induced maybe by the prasadam or what, at least she started chanting Hare Krishna on the stage and all the fans went and danced. <laughs> so afterwards, people were very interested and came to her and she was able to distribute all of the books. <laughs> but then uh, there's something else. There was, um, uh, there's a new group, uh, the latest, so to say, they're called the Chrome Max. And although their music is not uh, exactly Kirtan style or anything which is even approaching Sadvagun, also they are engaged in some kind, or not even sometimes, uh, some kind, they are engaged in book distribution. <laughs> Thank you.
And here is the head cro magnet man, distributing Srila Prabhupada's books and signing them for his Stone Age fans. If somebody doesn't go into this dirt and, and try to clean some of these people off, then there's not much hope, you know, unless they get a book or some prasadam on the street. But it's like now we're, we're going directly into battle. Like we're in the middle of it, you know. I used to do book distribution and the main line Prabhupada would say was purity is the force. So according to uh, how pure we are and how much we follow ourselves, then uh, Krishna could empower us, you know, who knows to do what. Uh, um, anything could happen. Go on spreading the Sankirtan movement more and more. I am only one person, but because all of you have kindly cooperated with me, this movement has now become a success all over the world. Be assured that there is no more direct way to preach than to distribute Krishna conscious books. Whoever gets a book is benefited. If he reads the book, he is benefited still more. Or if he gives the book to someone else for reading, both he and the other person is benefited. Even if one does not read the book, but simply holds it and sees it, he is benefited. If he simply gives small donation towards the work of Krishna consciousness, he is benefited. And anyone who distributes these transcendental literatures, he is also benefited. Therefore, Sankirtan is the prime benediction for the age. Krishna Vanam Tusha Krishnam Sangovangastrapachadam Yagnai Sankirtana Praya Yajantihi Samedasha. Hoping this meets you all well, your ever well wisher, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. We regret that due to insufficient time and resources, we were not able to include all of the great souls distributing Srila Prabhupada's books around the world. But we know that Sankirtan devotees everywhere have experienced the transcendental potency of Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan movement because of the hundreds of thousands of letters sent to Iskon by people whose lives have been deeply touched and transformed by the books of His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada.